A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on Colossians chapter 1 and verse 12. And giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. We were once a part of the fallen race, unfit for the glories of heaven. For sin had disqualified us and rendered us death in our trespasses, separating us forever from our Creator. But through the blood of Christ, we have been qualified to share in the inheritance of the saints by faith. This morning we learn that we must continue to give thanks joyfully to the Father in every circumstance because it is He who has qualified us to receive salvation and the great inheritance He has prepared for us. One thing we must remember is that Paul was speaking from difficult circumstances. Yet, he continued to be grateful while encouraging those around us. That's what mature citizens of heaven are called to do. A story is told of a vendor who sold bagels for 50 cents each at a street corner food stand. A jogger ran past and threw a couple of quarters into the bucket but didn't take a bagel. He did the same thing every day for months. One day, as the jogger was passing by, the vendor stopped him. The jogger asked, You probably want to know why I always put money in but never take a bagel, don't you? No, said the vendor. I just want to tell you that the bagels have gone up to 60 cents. Too often as Christians, we treat God with the same kind of attitude. Not only are we ungrateful for what he's given us, but we want more. Somehow we feel that God owes us good health, a comfortable life, material blessings. Of course, God doesn't owe us anything, yet he gives us everything. Therefore, even during difficult and dark days, let us keep up the faith and remain grateful instead of grumbling and complaining. Continually giving joyful thanks to the Father because he has qualified us to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to always remember, especially during difficult times, that the greatest gift you have given me is salvation. Help me to remain grateful and display it through my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.